As the mobile phone industry has continued to shift its attention to India and China, I have become more and more accustomed to this sort of thing. This is the Mi 10 Ultra and this is my receipt for it. We had to buy this direct from Xiaomi in China through a contact over there and then have it sent to another contact, have that forwarded to another person and then finally sent to us. But at long last, we are getting our first hands-on with the world's first 120 times optical zoom device. Now, as you might expect, there's no product page in English, so I'm gonna be using this mobile version of the, oh boy, even the product name is not quite right. Xiaomi 10 Extreme Memorial Edition? Does that sound like something, like 20, 2010 to 2020? Oh, is it a 10 year anniversary phone? Cool, cool, cool. So it's got a lot in common with other flagship phones right now. Snapdragon 865 processor, anywhere from uh, eight gigs to I think it's 12 gigs of RAM max, 16, all the way to 16. And then we ended up with the 256 gig storage version, but you can get it with up to 512 gigs of storage. In line with the rest of its top tier specs, it's got an absolutely gorgeous finish. Apparently a 120 hertz display and it charges at 120 watts. Unflippin' believable. Wow, is this thing ever thick? Here, let me just pull out my daily driver Note 9. So you can see it's like a chonky boy compared to the Note 9. It does still feel good in the hand though, actually. Credit to the folks over at Xiaomi who worked on the hand feel of this. It's extremely rounded on the corners here. So when it rests in the palm of your hand here, it's not uncomfortable in any way, like it doesn't dig in at all. Let's go ahead and flip it open. Of course, it's running Xiaomi's software, which I, in the past, have not been a huge fan of, but who knows, maybe it's better in China. Oh boy, this is... Definitely a Chinese only version of the phone. Uh, yeah, it's set to English, but like, I agree. I agree to everything. Yes, thank you, Chinese government. You may have all my information. Okay, here we go. What, what, wait, what's that last thing? What's That's this? basically a Wikipedia type of thing. Baidupedia, you have got to be kidding me. I'm on Baidupedia? See, a lot of you probably don't know this, but we actually have a Billy Billy channel. All the money that we make on it through ads and stuff is like locked in China. We have no way of getting it, but hey, you know, we just want to make sure that, you know, our Chinese bros can also watch Linus Tech Tips at this point. This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. PIA has thousands of servers in dozens of countries. They've got clients for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. You can have up to 10 clients at once signed in on a single account. And it's just another tool for your online security toolbox that if used with private browsing best practices can make online websites and services that you use think that you are in a different country. If you want to check them out, we've got a link in the video description. And I think, uh, what's our, what's our vanity URL? I don't remember. Whatever. It's linked in the video description. Get PIA today. Also in the box, we've got an A to C cable as well as, oh, wow. Listen to this. Listen to this. That is a thick boy power adapter. 120 freaking watts specific to the Mi Turbo Charge 10th Anniversary Edition. Look at that camera bump. That's not a camera bump, that's a camera, it's a camera mountain. Let's take a look at the snapper. So there's two 48 megapixel sensors. Actually, sorry, I'm pointing to the wrong ones because one of them is just the main camera and the other one is using a periscope style camera. So that might explain why the body of this thing is so thick and yet it only has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. To be clear, 4,500 milliamp hour is a lot of battery, but given the size and weight of this puppy, this one is using for that uh, periscope style camera. So, all right, you switch between your zoom modes like that. Okay, there you go. So we're definitely using the wide angle now. Sup, Brandon? Sup, Andy? That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. So that's how it's able to capture like literally a filming light bouncing off a reflector here without losing all of the detail in the darks anyway. You can see like uh, Andy's shirt folds and stuff like that. Okay, let's go ahead and try more zoom though. 5X, oh, hi there. 
Optically stabilized for sure, but wow, that's bad. Let's try a 10x shot. Right, yeah, this is the problem with benchmarks like DxO Mark, is they don't tell the whole story because just because the, like, the main shooter, for example, is really good under certain circumstances, doesn't mean that the rest of them are any good. We actually had Brandon go out and play with this camera for about an hour yesterday to get some impressions. Uh, I do want to get at least one shot with the 120x zoom here, though. <laughs> all right, I got a picture. That's got some digital smoothing on it, all right. But hey, I mean, it's I can't even see that in person. Oh, that's pretty blurry. Was Bella like moving around a lot or? They were both moving? OK, all right. You took a picture of a cat on a leash. You are therefore, by extension, a cat leash person, Brandon. The ship sailed. Wow, neither of them managed to look into the camera once. Here's Brandon's dog. Look at her, isn't she cute? That's pretty sharp. That's actually not bad. How, uh, how, how green was your grass really though, Brandon? Definitely very different color qualities going from one sensor to another. You can really see it here. Okay, Andy checked the product page in Chinese. The 12 megapixel is for depth sensing, for portrait mode and stuff like that. Assuming both of the displays are reasonably accurate, that's not terrible. Oh, wow. Yeah, the Pixel did a much better job of the sky in this one. Like you can really see the difference in color between where the sun is over the horizon here and where the sky gets darker and a more deep blue here. It's also way, way sharper over towards the edges of the image. To their credit though, I think Xiaomi's captured the warmth of the sun a little bit better. Oh wait, did I say Xiaomi? Ah, Google. Ha! <laughs> Oh, I forgot which one was which. Okay, yeah. So even when I was accidentally looking at them blind, uh, the pixel looked better. Still though, for uh, like, a, like a Chinese phone camera, it's not bad. Let's check out Brandon's five times zoom video. Have a look at the stabilization here. That's not terrible actually. Really? That's pretty impressive then. There's a couple more things that I haven't had a look at yet. Um, one of which is, I don't actually know if it has stereo speakers, but there's no app store. I guess we'll go on Billy Billy. It's got HDR10 plus support, dual SIM. So much for my Wi-Fi 6 and my 5G. It might just be a regional problem. Like outside of China, can Baidu find YouTube? Apparently. All right, great. Okay, it's got an amplified earpiece speaker, so you've got stereo sound. Oh yeah, and on the subject of battery and performance, I can't show it to you, but apparently it charges 40% in just five minutes and charges completely in 25 minutes with that 120 watt charger. That's freaking nuts. What the hell is this order of, no oh, that's a great feature. That is actually an outstanding feature. So it moves the numbers around so that you can't tell from the grease spots what your pin is. I absolutely love it. I love it. That should be standard here as well. Not bad. I actually really, really like this wallpaper that it comes with by default. What is this like Mars or something? Check this out. And then it's like, like what are we looking at? Like a mountain or a canyon or something? I love it. That's really cool. Oh, we can try out their dark mode. Oh, cool, it changes the color of the planet. It's nighttime. <gasps> That's pretty cool. I like it. And I like wrapping up this video at this point, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Brandon, for uh, running around and taking those pictures. That was actually very illuminating. So it's like, okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, I guess. And uh, you should subscribe because we make videos around here that are okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>